Now let's turn to Odysseus and the Odyssey. So the Odyssey is one of Homer's epics, one of the Homeric epics, the other being the Iliad and the Odyssey follows the journey of Odysseus who is trying to return home after 10 years of battling at Troy during the Trojan Wars. This guy is so blind. That's not even on me. actually hear of Odysseus before we even hear uh, see him because at the beginning of the Odyssey his son Telemachus is off to try and find him now Odysseus he is given in Greek an epithet or like a little like suffix to his name Polytropos, which loosely translated kind of means like cunning or wise or witty, that kind of kind of vibe. He is a proud and arrogant man, and throughout the Odyssey we see how his wits are tested and his uncanny a way of using disguises it's a master of disguise oh yeah I remember this girl come on then Odessa <laughs> thank you let's get out of you here have me. can you fight I'd be happy to So Odysseus's kind of journey all begins really with the fall of Troy. So oh, let's listen to Odessa. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on oh, a pilgrimage. You? You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca? And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. If you're so great, why were you captured by bandits? Where's the help? Where is the help? So how does the Trojan War start? Actually, you know what? Let's save the beginning of the Trojan War for a different day because that's not really... I mean, that does start off his journey, but... It's not really what the Odyssey is about. The Odyssey is more about how Odysseus gets home. <coughs> 
and all we really need to know is that after the Trojan War, after this is the events of the Iliad, uh, all of the Greeks return home. Something more grand. Or they try to return home. I'm what happens with Odysseus is that uh, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. Okay, so what happens to Odysseus is that a lot of his crew want to return home here, I guess, to rocky old Ithaca. But Odysseus is very wary of leaving without making any sort of sacrifice to Athena, who is his patron deity. But he does so anyway, and he enrages Athena. And this means he can't really leave. Um, and what happens is his men sail off, and they find themselves on land um, and Odysseus is second in command Eurylochus convinced him to weigh anchor and lay waste to this city right claim as many spoils as they can well, <coughs> these people Such they could call the Siconians and they flee <coughs> oh excuse me the War. Yeah, you know what? I'm he gonna speak about all these characters. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods too. That caused him a lot of trouble. Mm, well said. And it well made said. Him a legend. You look cute right now. As if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like By the way, I'm playing as a very flirty assassin. There are a few other ones I can think of that would suit you. I can't wait to hear them. I'm going to sleep my way through this game. That works even better. The other ones will come later. I hope later comes soon. So what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? If you want Odysseus's greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus's life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me. Ouch. After I saved your life. So rude. You know, while I'm here, I'm just going to stay here. Yeah, so the Siconians, they flee, Odysseus and his men lay waste to the city. And the Siconians return, you know, before Odysseus and his men can leave. And they get into a massive fight and loads of men are killed. Odysseus is about to fight Euro... Yo... You're a locus, but they basically managed to stop fighting. They're separated by their men and they continue their journey. Um, and so the next, or I guess rather the first sort of big issue they face is when they land in a place called the land of the lotus eaters and for any of you that have studied Tennyson's lotus eaters this is what his poem takes inspiration from the lotus eaters or rather on this land there's a weird kind of food called lotus flowers basically like a hallucinogenic that makes the men forget themselves um, forget all about their family and their homeland and most I think interestingly or scarily rather makes them forget about their massive desire 
to get home. Oh, this guy's got no idea what's happening. Oh, I can't. Oh, come on. Yeah, it makes them forget all about their des desire to get home and they just want to stay on this land forever. Which is quite a scary thought, I think. Because they've been away from home for 10 years and they've been fighting to save their home for 10 years. And suddenly they're on this land, they've eaten a, a weird flower. And they don't want to go anymore. Quite a powerful little thing that. Um, Odysseus, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't think he does eat. Um, and he has to try and convince the rest of his men that they need to go home. So Odysseus and some other men have to carry them back to the ship. And they very quickly make haste. I think that's probably the first proper sort of supernatural challenge that Odysseus faces. Let's try and find this. I mean, Chris literally saw it, isn't it, over here or something? No. What did you see? What did I... Uh -huh. But the first, like, monster that they face is the Cyclops Polyphemus. So Odysseus and his men have been travelling for some time now, trying to get home, travelling south. Um, for many weeks, and they come across this strange land. And Odysseus and his men, they want to rest. They're quite tired. They've been travelling for ages. Um, so they... But post anchor, lay anchor, um, and they enter this cave, this massive, massive cave that they think has got to belong to some giant creature, surely, it's so big. Um, but what they find there is this ugly, massive one-eyed cyclops. They actually, they actually find a rock in the mouth of the cave as like a door and it's guarded by this giant cyclops called Polyphemus. Now Polyphemus asks who they are and Odysseus in his cunning he doesn't want to give away his name so he tells them they're simply seafarers and they are looking for food um, and what have they done as soon as they landed? Well, they've killed a lot of the sheep that are there. And this is one of the biggest things why, like Odysseus, you can't really consider him a hero, I don't think. He was here. Because they've landed on this weird place, strange country, strange land that they don't know, and the first thing they've decided to do is kill some sheep. Kind of how I'm doing now, I guess. That a boy. You're a good hunter, Icaros. So Polyphemus is well upset, like they killed his sheep, and he loves looking after his sheep. So Polyphemus blocks the entrance of the cave with a huge rock, um, and he doesn't let them leave. He's trapped them inside. Every day he eats two of Odysseus's men, just rips them apart. 
dashes their brains against the walls of his cave, eats them raw. Odysseus cannot bear this. These are his men. He's responsible for their lives. And he's asked so much of them. So he devises a cunning plan. What is this? What he does is he and his men have bought gifts with them or rather they've got wine with them right um, so he offers this wine to Polyphemus one day who drinks it greedily gulps it down gets drowsy and falls to sleep while he's sleeping Odysseus fashions a massive stake out of some wood with a sharp point at the end places it in the fire and thrusts it straight into Cyclops' eye his only eye so now obviously the Cyclops can't see very well but he can still like use his other senses as it were That's not going to work. That'll do. So, Polyphemus wakes up screaming and wakes up screaming in agony as you would. Your eyes been skewered by a burning hot steak. He demands to know who's done this. And Odysseus refers to himself as nobody. Strange, I guess. But when Polyphemus is raging and screaming in pain, there are his brothers on this island as well. And they have asked him, Brother Polyphemus, what's happened? And he started screaming, Nobody's poked my eye out. What? Nobody's poked your eye out? What's going on? What are you talking about? The fellow Cyclops think it's just Polyphemus acting in a bit of a drunk stupor. Then the next morning, Odysseus and his men strap themselves underneath the sheep. Um, and when Polyphemus lets the sheep out to graze, Odysseus' and men manage to escape. And that would have been fine, right? Odysseus and his men could have got away relatively unscathed. But Odysseus could not risk nobody knowing his name. So he calls back to Polyphemus and he says, My name is Odysseus. I have bested you. Little does Odysseus know that Poseidon, the god of the seas, the god of the biggest body of water that he's going to have to travel to get home, is Polyphemus' father. So Polyphemus cries out to his father to avenge the pain and the humiliation. And so begins basically Odysseus's ten year long journey home.
because Odysseus just can't risk nobody knowing his name. And then he meets Aeolus, his great 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 grandfather, somewhere along the line, um, who offers to help him and gives him a bag of winds to help him get home. Um, off he goes, Odysseus and his men, sailing along, happily ready to get home. Um, and he's hiding this bag of winds from his men. Are these? Okay. I don't know why. Maybe he doesn't trust them. His men certainly don't think that he trusts them because they get jealous and they want to know Odysseus. He's probably keeping all the good spoils to himself. What's in the bag? And so one day, Odysseus must be... He must see Ithaca. That's how close to home he is. He can see its craggy peaks. Its rocky outcrop. He can probably smell it. He's home, right? No. Because his men open. Oh, there's still something here. His men open the bag of winds. Which sends them all the way back to Aeolus. All the way back. That must be like months of travelling. Just gone of course Odysseus is upset he's angry he has to travel all over again so the winds create a furious storm sending the ship all the way back to Aeolus all the way back to Aeolia which is where Aeolus is right and again Odysseus asks him for help but this time Aeolus is like, nah, you lot are bad vibes. How can you be back already? I don't trust you. So now he's got to sail away. The winds were a great help, by the way. Now he's got to do all of that manually with him and his men. It's painful. <laughs> Definitely. And as he's travelling, <laughs> he comes across a place called Aei, which is the home of the sorceress Circe. Circe, who is known to turn her guests into pigs. Circe knows they're coming, because she is a, I think she's a descendant of. Uh, oh. I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. Oh my kidding! This place never changes. She's a descendant of Helios, the god of the sun, before Apollo. Um. And she's got prophetic capabilities. So she knows Odysseus is coming. And she turns his men into pigs. Thankfully Odysseus is warned by Hermes. That this is what Cersei likes to do. And Hermes gives him. Oh my god. Hermes gives him a herb that will protect him from Cersei's magic. And spells. Now obviously Cersei realises, oh man, the magic doesn't work with this guy. And she's bested and she agrees, okay fine, I will turn your men back if you sleep with me. 